Prevent means promoting and enabling vaccination efficiently now and tomorrow. And in a nutshell, what we're going to do with this project is we're going to implement vaccination at the level of the hatchery, so upstream, so that then there's an impact all the way across the value chain and most importantly, all the way downstream at the level of the small scale producers. I think there is real impact. Uh, just, just look at it this way. So today, these farmers are buying unvaccinated chicks from, uh, from uh, hatcheries. So this project could be really transformative because here you are introducing vaccinated chicks. Avian production, either eggs or meat, is one of the solutions in order to solve the animal protein for African people. We will achieve quantitatively 50 million vaccinated doll chick per year. Quantitatively is also the capacity building in order to make it sustainable years after years and to develop a model even for other second tier hatchery. That means the, the ones which are not on the front line for the big international companies. One of the work streams of the project is to establish a network of field technicians around the hatcheries and these field technicians will be trained. They will be assisted in building a business around the distribution of vaccinated dough. What we want to do is to establish and measure the productivity changes that are associated with the project. And it's not just productivity, it's also socioeconomic considerations. The willingness of small-scale producers to purchase the DO chicks associated with the project, the level of adoption of these vaccinated chicks, the ability of the field technicians to actually stimulate and can encourage better flock management and practices amongst these small scale producers. Poultry as a livestock class is absolutely fantastic because women are so involved in it. And our work, as well as the work of others, has shown that women in the poultry setting are actually involved quite meaningfully in management type activities and not just in the menial activity. So, it's, it's actually a fabulous opportunity to involve small-scale poultry producers, but women in particular. And so we're excited about the potential benefits of this project for women. Soon, I, I hope to hear stories of farmers having extra money, you know, to spend on education and their own health care and so on and so forth. These vaccinated chicks will be slightly more expensive than the unvaccinated ones. So there is a, a business development aspect there to just sell the concept and, and get buy-in from the farmers.